The ancient temple town of Madurai in southern India boasts of a 2500 year old history of spirituality. Historians trace Madurai's existence back to the 3rd century BC, making it one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities of the world. Legend says that Madurai was established by the cosmic mother herself who incarnated as Princess Meenakshi, daughter of the pious king Malayadwaja Pandian. An able queen and a fearless warrior, Meenakshi expanded her empire right up to Kailash in current China. But when she came face to face with the lord of Kailash, Shiva himself, she recognized him as her eternal consort and dropped her arms to become Shiva's companion for life. Along with Shiva, also known as Sundareshwara or the beautiful lord, Meenakshi reigned over her kingdom for a glorious 166 years. In course of time, with the rise of Jainism as a religious force, Madurai too fell to its powerful influence and Shaivism all but vanished from the sacred kingdom where Shiva himself had once walked the earth. The renaissance of Shaivism in Madurai was the sacred task of a child incarnation, Tirungyana Sammandar, one of the four visionary saints of Shaiva Siddhanta tradition. The story goes that as a baby, Tirungyana Sammandar was once nourished by the milk of enlightenment from the cosmic mother herself. This child prodigy arrived in Madurai to effortlessly defeat the learned Jain monks with his wisdom, healing powers and spiritual prowess and restored Madurai to her beloved religion, Shaivism, by reviving the ancient Madurai Adinam and the Meenakshi temple which had fallen to desolate ruin. Madurai Adinam is today the world's oldest living Hindu organization with a recorded history alone spanning a glorious 1,500 years and an unbroken lineage of illustrious pontiffs to this very day. Over the centuries, Madurai Adinam has been patronized by the likes of Tipu Sultan, Robert Nobili and the poet Saint Vallalar. The pontiff of the Madurai Adinam is known by the title Guru Mahasannidhanam and inherits the responsibility of carrying forward the traditions of Tirungyana Sammandar's sacred work. On 27th April 2012, a new era began in the history of Madurai Adinam. The 292nd Pontiff, Sri Lashri Arunagiri Nadanyana Sammanda Desika Paramacharya Swamigal, guided by intuition and inducement by Lord Shiva, coronated a charismatic young saint as the 293rd Pontiff of the Madurai Adinam. An accomplished yogi, a pragmatic social visionary and an adept in mystical sciences, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda is revered as a divine incarnation by millions worldwide. Within weeks of his ascent to the sacred throne, he brought about sweeping changes to the Adinam, including the renovation of the ancient monastery, Annadan, free food for thousands every day, free medical camps, yoga classes, scriptural study, spiritual healing and meditation programs. The traditional Adinam now has a website and thousands participate in the morning worship and spiritual talks via live streaming and two-way video conferencing. Vast properties belonging to the Adinam are being reclaimed from illegal encroachment. Its numerous temples are being restored to sanctity and the neighboring villages are being adopted with basic amenities, education and medical care being provided for all. His Holiness dreams of an authentic Vedic renaissance for which India has already waited too long. Dear, I take the commitment of making Madhuri Adinam as an international religious organization. We will fulfill all the responsibilities of Madhuri Adinam, make Hindu tradition, Saiva tradition, 
alive, revived, lived, celebrated all over the world. With a brand new pontiff at its helm, Madurai Adinam promises to be more than just another traditional monastery as a whole generation turns to spirituality for answers. The changes at Madurai Adinam mirror the changing role of spiritual organizations today as power centers and guiding forces forging the enlightened government of the new world. Shiva